Konnichiwa, Moichido. And I am back with another video. Enjoy the show! Domo minasan, Edo Phil Des. Soshite kyo wa. I'm back with another video. And this will be the Yong Bando from Japan called Puffy or Puffy Amiyumi from where I'm at. As usual, I'm going to get into the full story of Puffy while also speaking Japanese at the end like I always done before. And without further introductions, Hajime! This story starts off with the leader known as Ami Onoki. Born in Machida City in Tokyo and on September the 18th in 1973. And lastly, Yumi Yoshimura from Osaka, Negawa Prefecture on January the 30th of 1975. What makes them both similar to each other is that they both love music of all kinds. They have suffered a loss in their family and both went to school and graduated. Ami started off very early of being very international and started music by going to Seoul, South Korea in 1982. 10 years later, went to Kanda Foreign Institute to learn English while learning other language. Then from April of 1989, from a band in Kangawa Prefectional Ida High School called Hanoi sex. Hanoi is Vietnamese for red, so in English this band will be called Red Sex. Please YouTube, do not get me demonetized for this. This is their name, not mine. This band got to win the audition for Sony Music Japan in 1991 while practicing demos from that time until 1994. So if anyone has a rare copy of the HS demo tape, please send them to me. Yumi won an audition as a solo artist the following year after Ami entered Sony Music Japan. Until 1994, because something significant has changed. Before 1994, as of 1992 to 1993, Ami and Yumi would often see each other a lot in the building but would not say anything because they were super shy of each other and they didn't have enough time to even talk to one another until this gentleman has came into the picture. His name is Annie Strummer. He was the leader and drummer of the band Jellyfish from 1990 to 1993 and born in Los Angeles on March 11th, 1965. He went on an amazing opportunity to go to Tokyo, Japan in 1994 to be with the company Sony Music Japan along with another songwriter and producer that was previously in a group called Unicorn named Tamino Okuda born the same year as Andy on the 12th of May of Hiroshima Japan the ON original name for Ami and Yumi was actually going to be the name for the band Jellyfish. And Andy be definitely believed that this was the perfect time for this group to have this name. And this is how Andy is given the title of being the godfather of Puffy. Ami and Yumi were already familiar on how to play guitars while also recognizing each other beforehand. So now it is time for Andy, Tamino, Ami and Yumi to work on their debut single, Asia no Jushin, in the next chapter. Their first single that was released on May the 13th of 1996 was called Asia no Jushin, True Asia, on Epic and Sony Records made it to number three on the Ocon chart. Covers in an English version and even another music video released 20 years later. If you listen to the song very well, you can see why 
their absolute first song made it to number three. But their second single is going to shock you even more, which is Kore ga Watashi no Iku Michi. That stands for That's the Way It Is or This Is My Way of Life. Released on October the 7th of 1996. This won number one on the Ocon charts. Not only that, it was featured on numerous soundtracks for shows and movies, won the 38 Japan Awards for Best New Artist, and a Chinese version was released two years later. To end their debut success of the year of 96, their first album, Ami Yumi, released on July the 22nd, that received the third place on the chart, and their very own movie called Run Puppy Run on December the 1st. In this movie, they traveled to America from New York and California by car. One interesting thing about this movie is that we meet a man named Rodney Allen Greenblatt. If that name sounds very familiar to you, it is because he is the animator artist for the video game and series Parappa the Rapper and etc. He made the cover for the movie along with the second all the way to the 13th single from Puffy. And now we are going to now move to my birth year of 97. Their third single that is my first and favorite single called Circuit No Musume, which stands for Wild Circuit Girls or Circuit Daughters, released on the 12th of March in 1997. This is another song that made it into the number one charts along with the commercial for the motorcycle Yamaha Vito. And this song was written because earlier before this time, Yumi got into a motorcycle accident. From her legs. Their fourth single that is another number one hit called Electrica Beach Fever, released on the 4th of April. Their fifth single is a duo song of Mother and No Hira Hahorina, which is the last single of 97, released on the 12th of December, and used for their very own show called Papa Papa Puffy, released two months earlier. Their second album, Solo Solo, was released on August the 6th. It was placed on second of the Ocon charts. Lastly, there was another show that they were on, which is their very first own show called Saku Saku Morning Call. And now we're going to move on to 1998 now. Sixth single is called Sign of Love for the 14th of March in the start of 1998, I know Shuishi made it on the third place of the Ocon charts. This song was so popular that this was another song that had a Mandarin version. Seventh single released at this time is another duo single called Tehran on August 29th for the fourth place. Last single of 98 is their 8th single called Puffy Da Rumba, released on December the 12th and on the 14th place of the charts. Their third album for 1998 is Jet CD, released earlier on 1st of April. It's April Fools, but Puffy did release an album, and this is also their first album that won number one on the Ocon charts. The last part to cover for this chapter of the 90s is, of course, 1999. The ninth single released in the beginning of 99 is Sunday Daughters or Girls, known as Nichiobi no Musume, released on another April Fool's Day. And here was it on number 15 on the charts. The final single released in 1999 is their 10th single called Yume no Tameni for Our Dreams, released on the 9th of July and it's on the number 12th. And finally, 
the last album of the 90s is called Fever Fever, released a month before their 10th single. And on that note, we move on to the 2000s in the next chapter of Coming to America. I will now start the chapter off with their 11th single called Ume Ito, which is on the beach, released on the 5th of April of the start of the 21st century. Now, before I continue with the next single, if you pay attention to this music video where they're in America once again for the South by Southwest tour, this is a very important thing that has changed, which is their name. Once they got off stage, they got letters from a person named Sean Combs, known as P. Diddy, and it's for them to change their name. They both didn't really think about it too much by just putting their actual name, which is Ami and Yumi. The response is them saying, it didn't really bother us at all. We respect Puff Daddy, and the bottom line is, this name was given to us by somebody else six years ago, so we didn't have a clue or control over it at all. Hi everybody, I'm Ami. I'm Yumi. And we, we are Puffy Ami Yumi. Yeah. So the folks out there in Japan and everywhere else around the world that wants to know how did Puffy got their name to be this, to Puffy Ami Yumi here in the US of A, now you know. But thankfully, progress kept going for them. Their 12th single is called Boogie Woogie No. 5, released on the September the 7th along with their fifth album, Spike. And this was their first debut album released in America on May the 1st. June the 5th was when it was released in Canada, and October the 12th is when it was released in Japan, while receiving the numbers of 10th and 22nd place on the charts. Their 13th single is A New Beginning, released on the 25th of April in 2001 and received 28th plates on the charts. Their last single released in 2001 is their Blues Tears, known as Ayo Namida, on December the 5th and received the 32nd place on the charts along with their 8th album, The Hit Parade, that also received the same number of plays as their last album, released the next year of the 20th of February in 2002. Now I'm kind of skimming over a little bit in this point because at this very second, Puffy has something very important that they gotta say that changed all American lives. So please listen. Starting next month, we will be animated characters for Hi Hi Puffy and Me on Cartoon Network. That's right guys. Puffy now has their own television show on Cartoon Network called Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi Show. Aired from 2004 of the 12th of November all the way to June 27th of 2006. The Japanese version played from October of 2005 all the way to January of 2006. Also editing Edo here to say that there is also another link down below that shows all the facts for the Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi show in the link of the description. Ami is played by Janice Kawe and in the Japanese version played by Kei Kobayashi. Yumi is played by Grey Delisle and in the Japanese version played by Sachiko Koijima. You can also find a real life version of them in the theme song, segment, and ending. And also their own songs have been put on the show as well. This show was made by Sam Register and Lenny Naylor, especially since they are both big fans of their music. That's how the idea for this show has came about. Thankfully, Puffy and Cartoon Network agreed to this idea. Prior to this, they performed the theme song to another Cartoon Network show called Teen Titans along with attending the Macy's Day Parade in 2005. And here is the next album that goes along with the TT song. They released their second album in America called Nice in August 12th of 2003. Early in January is when it was released in Japan and later in August in Canada. Half of the fifth stars of all music. 
At this point, their release of albums in America has received four to five stars and received 20th place on the Ocon charts. The 16th single, along with the second and ninth album, is called Planet Tokyo, was released last year of the 20th of September in 2002, and it's on the 45th place on the chart. 17th single, Sunrise, in 2004, on February 11th and 24th place. This goes right next to their 10th album called 59, or in Japanese, Goju, released on the 31st of March and has a song called Joining a Fan Club, which is a cover from the band Jellyfish, and it's placed on the 62nd place. Now we are starting at the beginning of the starting song of 2005, of the 18th single called Hajimari no Yuta of the 13th of July and it's on the soundtrack for the 8th Pokemon movie called Lucario and the Mystery of Mew and placed on the 33rd place. Next is the theme song of the Cartoon Network show for the 19th single released on September 16th and on the top 100 placed on 107. 20th single on the roll is Mole Like, released on the next year of 2006 on the 12th of April and put on the 35th place too. The 21st single that was released the same year is called Tokyo I'm On My Way on the 24th of May that was also put into the soundtrack of Teen Titans Trouble in Tokyo and is on the 58th place. Last thing released in 2006 is the third album in America and the 11th album in Japan called Splurge. It went on a tour for the Goodwill Foundation in Japan and America. Released on the 28th of June in Japan and the 25th of July in America. And was also placed on the 19th place. To start off 2007 is their 23rd single called Boom Boom Beat. Released on the 18th of July and put on the 47th place. Lastly, their 24th single released on the same year is called Oriental Diamond on the 5th of September and on the 55th place. The finishing touches of 2007 is their 12th album called Honey Creeper that was released the same month of September and placed on the 55th on the chart. To finish off this chapter of 2008 and 2009 is their 25th single called All Because of You, released on the 21st of May 2008 on the 34th place. My Story, the 26th single on the 6th of August and placed on 44th place. The Weather Princess tells the news of the Hiyori Hime. So the next year of 2009, February the 25th, and on the 38th place. The last album for this chapter is the 4th and 11th album called Bring It. And they brought it on the 17th of June 2009 in America and Japan. Also worked on with Avril Lavigne and put on 17th place on the chart. Now... Let us move on to the third to last chapters of 2010, The Aftermath. Ikuyo! So now to finish off the Puffy story is the last album released 10 years ago called Thank You, their 12th album, released from 9th of March of 2011 and placed on the 25th place. The singles included are Red, Green, White, and Happy Birthday. During these times, they're still touring the US, Japan, and worldwide for the Not Lazy Tour, while releasing more songs for shows and movies, and also going to a lot of Comic-Con events as well. Their recent song that was released the 30th of April of 2021 is called Pathfinder, and also released the 25th anniversary box as well. So now, we're closing the book on Puffy, and we're going to move on to How Did They Influence Me? The 
reason why I love them so much is because their rock band persona is very different from what other bands, what, what people really think. Like Fishbone and No Doubt. Usually people would imagine them to be scary, but they are cute and serious, and that's what I really like about them. Another favorite moment from Cartoon Network is from when Eddie from Edda and Eddie was trying to sell Puffy Ami Yumi tickets and then ran into the real ones in animation form. And now, once again, this is where I'm going to speak in Japanese. Mata ikuzo, nisein yon wa. Watashi wa nana sai desu. Oboiteru hai hai Puffy Ami Yumi show de. Shikashi, shimasen yong nen go, honto ni bando. Daka, mitai nai kawa no sagu no kotun nakwaku, jindai to omaita. Ni thank you na de, benkyo shita puffy seko no hona no basho nihon. Puffy onogaku wa honto ni jibun no pasono ni ataimasu. Puffy ga ni nihongo bando mitai. Daisuki ni promotion video no saka no musume. Midoi screen no taksan atakawa. Suki no mo yamahai oboita promotion video de. Soshite omoshioite Kawaii video ga ichiban mitai wa. Puffy debut shita watashi wa inai. Demo okasan wa nishi no hon sta filu de ne. Puffy mada fish singer hatsubai ta umareta wa de. Omoshihoi wa otosan de ego de. P. Diddy doesn't even own that name. His real name is Sean Cone. If there's anyone he should be mad at, he should be mad at Sony and Epic Records Japan and their manager, which is Andy and Tomino, not Puffy. Nihongo wa P. Diddy Shironai Puffy Nemu wa Hontoni Nemu ga Sean Cone. Oboku Beki Hito ga Iwato Sony to Epic. Rick Nihon. So, the manager wa Andy to Tame no Puffy Janai. Ima, Sujigatsu ni ju hachi ni Puffy hito. So, the bonus mo ju no hachu ju loka jibo matu hito. Ego de. This is where in July the 22nd, I declare Puffy Day, and on December the 14th, Chibo Mato Day. Ego de Hanashimasu. They have met everyone from Japan along with other people around the world, and I'm very happy that they made their impact here in America too. Lastly, the best way I could describe them is that they are the new generation of Pink Lady, Shonen Knife, Chibi Mato, P05, Super Junkie Monkey, Judy and Mary, etc. I've noticed during the early years of 2000 is most Japanese bands or solo artists were recreating a lot of 60s and 70s sound and they have fitted into their own way, especially with their creative styles and music video. I could definitely say groups like Halle Cali and many others were inspired by them for their own personality and for being themselves around the world. So before we get to the shout outs, I would like to say happy late 25th anniversary to Puffy. They have really came a long way from the journey from Japan to America to around other parts of the world as well. And I'm so happy that I got to witness them at age seven 12 through right now. Thanks, Puffy. And now on to the final chapter. So the shout outs we're going to start off with now for this video is for Kneecap, Domori Makoto and Takumara, 
my friend Jared from Instagram, Orange Ave, a new up and coming rapper called Corey Bus. Check out his new song, Mental Health. My new friend from Hamong named Kinji Her. Atani Mato Garcias. Al, Al Marin. Revon Reading. Spring Ray. Another internet nerd. An up and coming band from Instagram called Ori Pabago and Dr. Spin. And now we move on to the shout outs that is inspired for this video. For Tamino Okuda, Andy Strummer, Rodney the Prodigy. And last but not least, Puffy. And thank you all for watching especially for this to be another video of the 60 sub special and you know much love to you all oh also before i go next review after my uh debut podcast called talking with edo my next review is going to be this this is my knife here this is for a men and boys knife in Japanese, this is what it's called, a shonen life. And... Sayonara! Oida video Jikan de materu yo Alright. Yep, that's going for bloopers. Alright. And last mm -hmm. He made this cover for that video along with the along with the second all oh, he made the he made this cover not to finish off this chapter of 2008 and 2009 is their 25th single called All Because of Up. This song is very popular that this was another song of them. Daisuki Nai. Going to South So. This is another song that made it into the number one chart. Made it into a commercial for, for the... Nisen Q Nanda Nisen Nisen Q from o Osaka Negawa. It plays on 33 33. The second album, Solo Solo, released August the 6th. Their fourth single that is another number one hit called. Electric uh, was born. Please, YouTube, please do not get me my demise. Me demise. Their fourth single that made it in half. Ah. Their fourth single that is a no. Ah. They, they have met with a lot of people from. They, he did he doesn't even own that name. It is Sean Cohen. He was the leader of a boy, a, a boy, mm. the fourth single that is another number one hit. Ah. He went on to get a great, amazing opportunity to go to Tokyo, Japan in '94 to work with the company, to wor work within the company. My story, the 26th single on the 12th of May in Hishu. Born in the same year as Andy and received the 30th play 30. And Yumi is played by Gray Gillespie. 
ね。And Andy definitely believed that this was the time that this. Lastly, their 24th single released that year, the same in that year. In it. We see. So now it's on. So now, Ami is played by Janice Kwok. Also, editing Edo here to say that if you like to see、um, born in my guy Machi, that we're going. To-